Well, a special word of thanks to Mr. McRae for uh, the kind words and the not-so-kind words he has had to say about me. Uh, I felt it was time that I was a grandfather because Mr. McRae had been announcing it for three years around the different places we went that I was one, so I had to do something about it, and we finally did. Uh, but uh, it's nice to be with you tonight, and we thank God for the opportunity to meet with you. And, uh, well, I'm sure I'll have a few things to say about my dear old friend before the evening passes by. And, uh, but we're going to sing a few choruses together. I'm sure before the evening's finished, you'll be fed up listening to us. But we are going to give you an opportunity to sing. We're going to sing a few choruses together. And we want you just to sing your very best and join in with us as we sing. We'll sing a wee chorus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. F. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made that the... Hold it now, hold it a wee second, hold it a wee second. Now, I don't think you're even started. So what we're going to do, we're going to start again. I want you to put your hands together. You're allowed to clap your hands when we're singing this chorus. Okay, let's have everyone, come on. After two, one, two. Uh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. The morning breaks eternal, bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Want everybody again singing their best. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. Who was singing the best the last time? Be honest. Who? Ah, oh, there's somebody with the hand up and half down. Who was singing their best? If you were really singing your best, let me see your hand. <laughs> Not so sure. Right, we're giving you another opportunity. Okay, after two, one, two. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there Maybe we could have all the ladies to sing that for us. Ladies only to sing. Right. Going to have all the ladies to sing for us. And all the men, well, we'll do uh, just what we normally do. We'll be nice and quiet. And we'll let the ladies sing for us. Okay. All the ladies to sing. After two. One, two. When the trumpet... All together, let's sing. Oh, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. 
Well done, ladies. That was very good. But now, if you haven't had a treat today, you're going to get one now. But we're going to ask you to do something that's just a wee bit more difficult. We want you to be nice and quiet for a minute. And you're going to hear the male voice choir. Now, I want to see all the men. Where's all the men? Put your hand in the air. If you're a man or you think you're a man, get your hand up into the air. Come on. Let's see you. Uh, okay. We're going to have all the men to sing for us now. You ladies, be quiet and listen right? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over, oh, when the rose sing with his lilies is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Well, man, I must congratulate you. That was desperate. <laughs> like the boy went for the driving test and he got back into the car and the man looked at him and says, congratulations, you failed. Well, I think we have done the same tonight. I see a whole lot of boys and girls and, and young people, uh, something all around my own age group, and we're going to sing a chorus that, that I always sung not so long ago, and it's called Deep and Wide, Deep and Wide, There's a Fountain Flowing Deep and Wide. Now you're going to have to get a wee bit of elbow room here because we're going to do the actions. We don't want to start any riots or anything like that, but we're going to do the actions. Deep and Wide, Deep and Wide, There's a Fountain Scene. Okay, let's start it. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Well, I mentioned the boys and girls, but it, I, I meant the rest is to sing along with them and do the actions. So come on, let's have everybody this time doing all the actions. Sorry, sir. You look fine. All right. Bring a squad of them up here. Come on. Oh. Big heart. Yes. Here's another one coming. I, I, I like I like Mr. McRae's approach. We want four volunteers. You, 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 and you. Right. I want two over this side. Or three. Right. You mean you don't get caught up in the strings of my guitar? Right. <laughs> oh, do all the actions, will you? Right. Okay, after two, one, two. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain going deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain going deep and wide. Plunge right in, push your sin, there's a fountain going deep. before the Lord. We are delighted that Mr. McRae is with us tonight, and I'm going to ask him now just to lead us to the throne of grace and prayer. Thank you, brother. Our Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for Thy goodness to us. We thank Thee for bringing us together tonight and giving us the opportunity of singing the songs of Zion. We thank Thee for the joy that's in our hearts, that joy that comes through faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and in Christ alone. We thank Thee for bringing our brother Joe safely and the rest of the lads and our sister Nell. We pray that in everything that Christ himself might have the preeminence in all of the glory. Make this a happy night. Make this a good night, Lord, and especially make it a good night for Thy kingdom. We pray that precious souls tonight might close in with Christ and know 
the peace that only Jesus can bring. We pray in Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake. Amen. Now, you've been sitting very good there, and we're going to sing one little chorus, and then we're going to call upon our brother Joe to sing for us. But uh, let's sing a little chorus to get you up onto your feet. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Now, this side, you're the hallelujahs, and you critters over here, you're the praise the Lord. And when you're singing, you're stand up, and whenever you're not singing, you sit down. So we'll see whether you... And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. You ready? This side, onto your feet. You're the hallelujahs. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Yo-ho. Are you with us? You're the praise the Lord's. Now, what do I say? Nell, come on you up there and help us. Now, would I let you into a secret? I'm only after getting the news, the bulletin, from your boy. What do you call you? Who's, who's on the news media now? <laughs> well, from London, special news bulletin from London. Anna Ford tells us that Nell had an accident today. And she fell. Oh. Come on, and a bit of sympathy. Her. Oh. She hurt her arm. Is that what you did? Yeah. Oh, she sprained her wrist. Well, I thought that was around your arm, but nevertheless, that's only got away with it. She comes from Bangor, you see, and that's a different part of your body. But <laughs> she's going to lead the people over here, and you praise the Lord. Right, come on, sister. For nothing happened to your tongue, so you're all right. <laughs> I mean the time. There's <laughs> one thing about her sister Nell, you know she's dead when her teeth give up. Not right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Joe, you take these clippers. Pardon? Right? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I never met as many confused people in all my life. <laughs> huh? I think we'll try it one more time. A wee bit, oh sorry, slower. A wee bit slower, right? No, no, I think we're all right. You just look after these, there'll be more confusion. He says, can we not get the man versus the woman? I think we'll just hold on to this side versus this side. No, aren't we, Joe? Right, do it a wee bit slower. Right. No, no, this lady has asked for it. And I'm obedient to the woman. But don't tell my wife. Right. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
together on evenings like this, and uh, people see us, I suppose they see it as our best, uh, when we have a laugh and a bit of fun together, and it's good to have the joy of the Lord in your heart. Some people get the idea that Christians are fuddy duddies and they can't laugh, and, and uh, you're not allowed to laugh. Well, uh, I have to laugh when I hear the things that some of the people try to say about me. It would make you laugh, trying to make it out that I'm an old man for a start, but... Uh, there's nothing old about me. I was able to park my Zimmer frame at the, at the door and make my own way in at no bother. Nell went in there, speed wobble with hers and broke her arm yesterday. Uh, but and Mr. McRae just got measured up for one, so he's not doing too bad. But you know what? We'll have fun together. And people say, oh, sure, there's fellas there uh, and the like of Nell. They, they don't have any problems. Everything's rosy in the garden for them. They don't know what trouble is. Well, I can tell you tonight that I have had more trouble and more problems in the past than ever you could begin to imagine. I was a young man who enjoyed the world and the pleasures of the world. I was a footballer, or I thought I was, played for Glenavon and Glen Turn, but after breaking a leg, I became a very heavy drinker. And in three very short years, dear friend, I was in the very verge of losing everything that was near and dear to me. I would sit at my fireside with a ten-glass bottle of rum could drink it before I would go to bed. Terrible problems. My wife had to spend almost three months in hospital with a nervous breakdown because of the life her drunken husband was leading. I kept my children up and out all night. My family had to search the roads to see where I would be. But at 25 past 10 on a Saturday morning, the 20th of September 1975, something wonderful happened in the life of Joe Peden. I met the Saviour. And thank God I came with an awful burden of sin. And the word of God says that him that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. And thank God Jesus took me in. He became my Savior. And I'm going to sing a piece now that is 
been my testimony this past 16 years because from the 20th of September, the Lord Jesus Christ has given me something that's worth living for. Life was shattered and hope was gone, crushing the load that I bore. Then out of the depths I cried, O oh God, give me something worth living. indeed brother joe we're very delighted to have our brother joe with us and uh, we are going to hear him later on in the program this evening we're also very delighted to have our sister nell here i'm sure you heard the story that nell was traveling along the train from bangor to belfast and as she was coming along the train you know some people are very you know they, they have no manners they have no thought for others 
And uh, Nell was sitting on the train, and this man was sitting. Although there was a sign up there, no smoking, yet this boy was sitting with this big cigar. And he was puffing away at this cigar. Now, at the best of times, it is terrible. But Nell, I can tell you, wasn't in good form that morning. And she was really angry because this boy would blow this a cigar smoke up into the air and didn't care what air it was contaminating or anything else or what it was doing to Nell's lungs. He didn't care. He was there with his cigar. And Nell, she looked at him. You know the way that sometimes, please don't take me wrong, ladies, but you know sometimes that you can give a look and it passes on a message. Well, <laughs> she tried her best to give that look that would just pass on that wee message that she wasn't very pleased. But never cost him a thought. And Nell just tapped him on the shoulder and said, <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. He said, I, I, Would you mind, please, not smoking? And he just took one draw off the old cigar and just, <sighs> really defiant in the air. And Nell tapped him on the shoulder, Excuse me, sir. He said, You know, I have asked you to stop smoking. I would be much obliged if you would stop smoking. And again, the boy just came back up into there. She says, excuse me, sir. You see, if you were my husband and you did that, I'd give you poison. <laughs> and he looked at Nell and he says, and if you were my wife, I'd take it. <laughs> but you know, Billy is a very gracious man. Billy is one of the most great. Now, her husband's called Billy. After, you know, the boy and the horse. Well, that's our nail. And her husband's called Billy. Well, dear help me, you know, in Billy's unconverted days, Billy was sent one time to go out and do a few messages. But Billy, unfortunately, he was coming home the worst of the terror. And he remembered that there was one thing, and this was on the verge of Christmas, and I remember there was one thing he forgot to get. He forgot to get the turkey. And Nell had warned Now, Billy, if you come home and there's no turkey, I'm telling you, you're not getting in the night. So Billy was just making his way home and it just hit him like a shot. A turkey. Oh, what am I going to do? And he looked everywhere. And there was this butcher shop here. And there was that butcher shop there. And there was that butcher shop. Every one of them closed. And boys, he was just stuck with fear. You know they put the fear in you. Well, <laughs> he was absolutely captivated with fear. And he says, how will I ever face Arnell? What am I going to do? And he went down the town. And he went through the town. And to tell you the truth, he was about to give up hope. And lo and behold... He just saw butcher shop and the man was just pulling down the blind, closing it for Christmas. And he runs up and he says, Hey, mister, he says, Hey, mister, I need, I need you, you to help me. Have you got a turkey? Oh, the man says, A turkey on Christmas Eve? Catch yourself on, he says. I got a soul 40 turkeys more. And he says, I'm sorry, he says, I'm very, very busy. He says, I'm very, very busy. I'm closing. And he walked back into the shop, and Billy walked back into the shop, and he happened to see this thing hanging up. And he says to him, he says, well, I'll take that. Oh, no, 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 no. He says, that's not a turkey or a chicken. He says, that's a night owl. I couldn't care where's a fort night owl. I'll take it anyhow. <laughs> well, he got home to our nail. And she wasn't so bad after all. She has a broken arm, or so, sorry, a broken wrist. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, we are delighted to have her sister Nell. Put your hands together, please, for Nell Hire. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the priest 
of glory done, my richest gain, I come but now, and poor content, on all my pride. Sorrow and love flow mingled up. You dare such love and sorrow meet where thorns compose so rich a crown for beauty. my soul, my life, my all. Maybe you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ and you haven't given him your all. He's here tonight. You can touch him even though this is a little orange hall. You can touch the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. I thank God for the touch in my own life when he stepped in and said as far as the east smells from the west, my dear, so far have I removed your transgressions. You know, Joe was talking about troubles and different things in our lives, and we do come up against it. But I want to say this, if we hadn't the Lord, how can you go on without the Lord tonight? People need the Lord, and you need him tonight. Touching Jesus is all that really matters. Yes, the woman tried many physicians It grew worse, so did Jesus, she came And when the crowd, oh, they tried to restrain her She whispered thee Is all that really matters Then your life will never be the same For there is only one way Yes, to touch Him Oh, just believe when you call 
Praise God, it's true. And I know that Jesus lives because I know that he lives within my heart. I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation. And tonight, that's the greatest news that anyone could ever hear, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And my friend, that sums everything that our brother will sing about, or I'll sing about, or sister Nell will be singing about. It's whosoever that takes you in, believeth in him. Put your trust in him and in Christ alone and the finished work of his cross, the plan of salvation. One morning at daybreak, a crowd slowly gathered. They were walking my Savior up to Calvary's hill. So sad was the theme that all the birds hushed. Like a lamb he was humble To his own father's will I want to thank Jesus For the plan of salvation Just to say, Lord, I really love you for you understand. you understand I want to be there when All the saints rise to meet him Just to look on the nail prints In his feet and his hands Just to look on the nail prints with his feet and hands. 
the blood that he shed there washed away all my sin stains. Now I am rejoicing, my soul satisfied. No other righteousness. But that of my Savior And I'm saved forever For Jesus to die I want to thank Jesus For the plan of salvation Just to say, Lord, I love you, for you understand. understand. I want to be there when all the saints rise to meet him. Just to look on the nail in his feet and his hands. I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation. Just to say, Lord, I love you, for you understand. I want to be there when all the saints rise to meet him and they look on the nail prints in his feet and his hands. Oh, to look on the nail prints in his feet and his I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation. And friend, tonight, that's a wonderful plan of salvation that God has provided for you and me and provided it freely. And one day we're going to see the Lord Jesus in that great eternal daylight. We're going to be with Christ and we're going to be like him. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. It doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear... We shall be like him. We shall see him as he is in that great eternal daylight. I'm on my way home to glory one last morning and I know I'll see my Savior face to face Until that day I'll pass through a veil of sorrow But I know God's promised me amazing grace Somewhere in that great eternal daylight He shall lead me where no tears shall ever fall. I shall rest in His presence. Oh, what glory. Oh, my last when I hear my Savior's call. Oh, I'm glad that my sins are all forgiven Underneath Calvary's crimson flowing tide To be part of God's family It's a privilege In Him my sorrow and my trouble 
I shall hide. Are you sure that you're ready now to meet him? Saved by grace, resting alone in Jesus' blood. Then you'll join in the choir of heaven's beauty. Praising Christ for his unchanging, marvelous love. Somewhere in that great eternal daylight, he shall lead me where no tears shall ever fall. I shall rest in his presence. What glory Oh my class When I shall hear My Savior's call Oh my class When I shall hear My Savior's call I wonder tonight have you ever thought of what it must be for a person to arrive home to glory? For a child of God to arrive home and to be with the Lord forever. To look into the face of the Savior, the one that we've sung about for some 20, 23 years now I think it is. I know I don't look that male. But 23 years now I've been, have the opportunity of preaching the gospel you know, I've been talking about the Lord Jesus. I was in a Harvest Thanksgiving service in Lisbon on Monday night, and after the service was over, I had the joy of leading a dear man to the Lord, and his wife was there, and she was rejoicing, and his daughter was waiting at the bottom of the church to throw her arms around Daddy's neck because they had prayed so much that God would save the Daddy of that home. That's a privilege, friend. And, oh, I've talked to, I've talked to little boys and girls about the Lord Jesus Christ. I've talked to teenagers, I've told the teenager that there's an answer to their need and the cravings and longings of their heart. There is someone who can give them life and that for all eternity. I've talked to mummies and daddies with their problems and difficulties and tell them that Jesus Christ is the answer. I've spoken to grandas and grannies and I've led them to Jesus Christ. Oh, but friend, listen, what will it be when we look upon him and just see him as he really is. Thank God for that old rugged cross, and then we'll have our break. an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was Come on, sing it now. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross Cross, I will ever be true. His shame and his reproach, oh, I'll gladly bear. Then he'll call. 
me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share lift it up now so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lead God. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I will cling. at this time I'm told a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear let's stand to sing it what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer Trials and temptations. Let's hear you sing it now. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord. And can we find a friend so faithful? We find a friend so faithful Oh, will all our sorrows share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer
fight wasted Yes, he knows Does he know This and I've tasted Yes, he knows Does he really love me yet? Has he really paid the debt? I'm so glad that since we met Just go to him in prayer He will understand and care In your joy and in your woes Jesus knows In your joy, your care, your woes My Jesus knows Thank God tonight for the one who knows all about us. Doesn't matter how heavy the burden may seem that we're bearing, I'm glad that the Savior knows. You know, the Lord made a wonderful promise to me the day that I was saved. He said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. I'd like to sing a final piece tonight. It's one that means a lot to me. You know, we have many friends this side of eternity. But I believe the dearest friend that we have this side of God's eternity is a mother. There's no love like a mother's love. And I had a mother that I loved very, very much. But the Lord took her home just five years ago to be with him in the glory land. And I would like to sing a piece tonight as I look back to the childhood memories with my mother. Many years ago, in days of childhood, I used to play till evening shadows come. Then winding down, I know. Set of song. Come home, come home, it's supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Come home, come home, it's supper time. Yeah. 
heard the call for supper time in heaven. And now my mother's waiting for me there. Come home, come home, it's supper time. The shadow. See her standing yonder, and her familiar voice I hear once more. The banquet tables are ready, up in heaven for supper time upon.
with me and I will see you home. What a hope we have tonight. We're going to see the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that purchased our salvation. And then like Joe, I'm looking forward to seeing my loved ones who've just gone on a little before me and who's waiting tonight at the Eastern Gate. Maybe you're away tonight. Maybe you're away out tonight from the fold of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ went after that one little sheep. And maybe you're it tonight. He wants you back into that fold again. Lord, you know how long you've waited for me to come home. For I know how long that I have been gone. Oh, but I never knew until I lost sight of you just how lonely I could be on my own. But now I'm back in the fall I'm back in the fall Knowing, sweet Jesus That you're in control No longer apart Oh, at last I've come home And Lord, it feels good To be back in There's nothing sadder in all creation Oh, like a soul in isolation Far away from the sound of God's voice But there'll be no time for tears For Lord, I've prayed for those lost years And all I want now is to sing Yes, and rejoice but now I'm back in the fall Yes, I'm back in the fall Oh, knowing, sweet Jesus That you're in control No longer apart At last I the home Oh, Lord, it feels good To be a back
the battle's been won. I will lay my burden down and pick up a robe and crown. Then we'll go home to be with Jesus when it's time. The scriptures all fulfilled And we're waiting now for Jesus to appear Soon the saints of all the ages Will join the song of victory will be our endless thing when it's time he will come then we'll know the battle's been When it's time, when it's time, he will come, then we'll know the battle's been won. We will lay our armor down. Pick up a rope and crow, then we'll go home to live with Jesus when it's time. Yes, we'll live again with Jesus when it's time. Bible says, knoweth no man. But thank God what we do know is that Jesus himself is coming again and those that are his will be with him for all eternity. Do you know the reason? Because Jesus paid it all in full. Jesus paid it all and it's all to Christ we owe. Sin had left its crimson stain but the blood of Jesus washes whiter than snow, paid in full. You can't add to it, friend. You don't take away from it. But thank God all that was needed to be done was done by the Lord Jesus at the place called Calvary. And what you and I are asked to do is this, is put our faith and our trust alone, alone in that finished work of his cross. And thank God when we receive him as our own and personal saviour, Praise God, we're safe. Ye saved. And that for all eternity. Paid in full. Jesus paid it all. Paid in full by the blood of the Lamb. When justice calls for the payment for sin No one worthy was found among men But the precious Son of God With a cross and a thorny crown Paid the debt in the blood of the Lamb in full by the blood of the Lamb, cleansed from.
from sin, free to live, praise God I am. And it reads on the page where my sins were written down, paid in full by the blood of the the debt that I owed bound to pay for the sin I had sold but in Jesus my Lord a great treasure I have found I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb Paid in full By the blood Of the Lamb Cleansed from sin Free to live Praise God I am And it reads on the page Where my sins were written down Paid in full by the blood of the Lamb. And it reads on the page where my sins were written down. Paid in full by the blood of the Jesus paid it all. You know, when I was a boy, one of the lovely hymns that God blessed to my soul was just a little hymn entitled, Jesus Saves. And my friend, let me tell you this. I've walked into so many homes, God knows this to be true, so many different circumstances as a preacher of the gospel, and even as a member of parliament into so many tragic circumstances. And I want to tell you this. There's only one answer. There's only one answer for the broken hearts. There's only one answer for the needy tonight. There's only one answer for a broken-hearted father or mother. I was just thinking of that home down there in Kirk Fergus today. You saw those five, one after the other, three wee white coffins. Then a mummy and daddy. To realize that just in one moment, a family was wiped out completely. And I thought of the grandparents. Oh, what a burden. What a burden to carry. Is there any answer for a broken heart? Thank God there is. His name is Jesus. Jesus saves. Jesus saves, he's still God. He make of you someone new, cleanse the sin that was. The Holy Spirit whispers, you no more longer need be enslaved. Just believe it, Jesus saves. We talk of heaven's beauty Oh, that's good We talk of loving others We wish you But to a dying world The greatest thing that we can say Is take the road to Calvary Jesus saved Jesus says He still does. He'll 
make of you someone new plans the sin that was the Holy Spirit whispers no more must you be enslaved just believe it Jesus saves we have heard the joyful song I remember singing that as a boy thank God over these years I've spread the glad news all around that Jesus really sees thank God he sees Jesus saves oh yes he does he'll make of you someone new Cleanse the sin that was The Holy Spirit whispers No more must you be enslaved Oh, believe it Jesus says Jesus says He still does He'll make of you Someone you cleanse the sin that was. The Holy Spirit whispers, No more must you be enslaved. Just believe it. Oh, sinner, believe it. Thank God I believe it. Jesus saved. Thank God tonight I believe that with all my heart that Jesus really saves. I've been asked to sing for the boys and girls a little piece and and perhaps most of you know what it is. It's just entitled The Grumblers. And I have to do it or I wouldn't be able to come back again if I hadn't that done for the children as we come to the concluding part of our, our meeting. So for the boys and girls dedicated to their mummies and daddies. The Grumblers. In country town or city, wherever man is found, folks spend their time grumbling at everything around. Oh yes, they always grumble, no matter what we say. For these are chronic grumblers And they grumble night and day Oh, they grumble on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumble on a Thursday too And they grumble on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday They grumble the whole week through They grumble on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumble on a Thursday too And they grumble on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday They grumble the whole week through The city and the grumble on the farm They grumble at their neighbours They really think it is no harm They grumble at the children Then they grumble at the wife She'll grumble at their husband Or they'll grumble all their lives Oh, they grumble on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumble on the Thursday too and they grumble on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday They grumble the whole week through They grumble on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumble on Thursday too And they grumble on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday They grumble the whole week through This They grumble when it's raining And then they grumble when it's dry they grumble if the crops fail They grumble and they cry They grumble at low prices and Then they grumble when they're high They'll spend their life grumbling 
they just grumble till they die Oh, they grumble on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumble on the Thursday too And he grumbles on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday He grumbles the whole week through Grumbles on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Grumbles on the Thursday too And he grumbles on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday He grumbles the whole week through Grumbles on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday He grumbles the whole week through Yes he just grumbles the whole week through. An old piece you could join with the chorus just to sing with it. It is no secret what God can do. What he done for others, thank God, he can do for you. The chimes of time ring out the news another day. Someone slipped and fell Was that someone you You may have long For added strength Your courage to renew Do not be disheartened I have news for you It is no secret Come on, sing it now What God can do What is done for others will do for you with arms wide open he will pardon you it is no secret what God can do chorus again no secret what God can do what is done for others he will do for you